Welcome ladies to another episode of Level 10. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite heroes. Today I'm going to show you a pro tutorial for Vala the Demon Hunter. Vala is probably one of the most versatile heroes right now in Heroes of the Storm. And not only does she come at a very very low price of 2000 gold, but at the same time she's also one of the strongest assassins that we currently have in the game. Her talents are so diverse that there are several builds with her right now that you can play and it all comes down to different playstyle that you might use. The build we're looking at today is also called the Multishot build and it is played in the competitive scene a lot. You will probably see that build quite a bit if you are watching live streams on Twitch TV of big tournaments. Like all the other heroes out there, Vala has of course three standard skills and one heroic ability where you can once again choose from two different ones and we're going to look at both of those in depth just a bit later. Her first ability is Hungering Arrow. Hungering Arrow launches a single arrow towards the target and after hitting that target the arrow is going to search out two additional nearby targets to hit and if there are none to hit then the arrow will continue to hit the same target over and over again. So that's one of the things that you want to use when you are either in a one-on-one -on -one, uh, combat with another hero or in a team fight. You don't really want to launch the ability when you are trying to hit an enemy hero that is surrounded by creeps because the only thing that's going to happen is that you might hit that hero once but afterwards the arrow is going to just like hit the minions and you won't lose, you will lose a lot of potential to just do damage to heroes. Her second ability is Multishot, an area of effect spell that Vara can use to either clear creep wave or just attack several heroes in a big team fight. She launches a barrage of arrows that spreads out from Vala and hits everything in their path. One of the things that makes Vala such a great hero is her third ability, which is Vault. And you can always use that to just like tumble away from your opponent. So it's one of the escape skills that she has. She just tumbles away in a straight line. And not only can you use that to get away from an opponent, but there's also a lot of abilities you can dodge with that if you hit it in time. So a great ability to have. And you should always make sure that if you're in a team fight, that you save that cooldown to just like get away if suddenly your opponent is turning on you and trying to drop you as one of the main damage dealers in the team. Of course Vala is also a passive trait and in her case that's Hatred. And Hatred works with your basic attacks. When you start hitting targets you can gather up Hatred stacks that last for a short while and with each Hatred stack that you gather you will get 2% of additional damage and then also 1% of movement speed. And uh, there are 10 stacks that you can gather up so at the end of it if you gather all those 10 stacks you will be doing 20% more damage with your right click attacks, with your basic attacks and you will move 10% faster. When you're going out of combat of course you start to lose those hatred stacks again until you start building them up once more. Hatred therefore is a great way especially in team fights to just gather up additional right click damage and also make sure that you gain that tiny bit of movement speed that might allow you to hunt down an enemy that is trying to get away from the fight. When we're looking at the multi-shot build and the talent build that I'm going to show you in this video the first one is probably the most important one of all. It's the extended range, it's a composite arrow talent that you can get for her multi-shot and your multi-shot gains an additional range of 20% which is absolutely huge. That allows you to always stay in the background and to just like go in with your multi-shot, do a lot of damage to either a creep wave or just to a couple of opponents that are gathered up in one space. It's an invaluable talent to have if you go for the multi-shot build in team fights and also in the early game you can always make sure that even if you have to fight on a lane where you are up against two or three opponents, you can stay in the back, you don't have to over extend you don't have to expose yourself to their damage spells you just can stay in the back and can always get the multi-shot in just push those waves back and make sure that they're not able to take down your towers and your fort. Multi-shot in itself already does a significant amount of damage especially late on in the game but on level 4 you will get another talent that you can use to even dish out more damage and that's arsenal. Once again our W skill our multi-shot is being enhanced by the talent so we're going to grab that up and uh, make sure that we are going to do even more damage with every single multi-shot that we launch. Now while we're going through those talents, keep in mind that we're going to talk about a few alternate talents that you could pick up along the way later on in the guide. This is just the standard multi-shot build that we're talking about right now. But especially when you're fighting with certain allies like Arthurs or if you're up against very very strong opponents that are trying to hunt you down the entire time, you might want to swap out a few of the talents but we're going to focus on those later on. The level 7 talent that we're going to choose in this particular build is Battle Momentum. And Battle Momentum is a great talent to have. When you read through the tooltip, it doesn't really sound like much when you read that only every single auto attack that you make will reduce 
the uh, cooldown of your abilities by 0.5 seconds. But if you actually just keep that up during the fights, then you will realize that it reduces the cooldown significantly over time. And that doesn't only go for your normal abilities, that also comes into play when we're talking about your heroic ability, your ultimate, and that makes it absolutely amazing. You will be able to use that a lot more, and of course you will also be able to use talents like multi-shot, searing arrow and vault a lot more, which can be invaluable in big team fights. As our heroic ability in this particular case, now we are going to choose Strafe. Vala has two heroic abilities, she has Strafe and she has Reign of Vengeance, and both of them are very, very good. And it depends a lot on the team composition and also the situation that you are in, which one is better. And we're going to talk especially about Reign of Vengeance a bit later in the guide, just to give you a bit of an idea where you could use it, what's the best place to really use Reign of Vengeance and in which hero composition you should use it. But for our particular guide right now, where we assume that you will play a lot of solo or dual queue games, we are going for Strafe, which allows you to stay a bit more in the background and do a lot of damage. If you use Strafe, Vala just starts spinning immediately and attacks every single target around her in a certain area and does major damage. The one thing that you have to keep in mind though is that it is a channeling ult which can be interrupted. You can use Vault during that ult, you can even use Blink, so you can are very very mobile still. But if you're up against a Stitches that has a stun ability, if you're up against someone that has a Stormball or any other kind of interrupt, then you need to try to stay out of their range so that you get the full potential of the heroic ability, get the full damage in and don't get interrupted halfway. With that setup of talents that we already have, things are going to become very very interesting on level 13. On level 13 we are going to pick Frost Shot. And that slows any target that you hit down for 40% of their movement speed for 2 seconds, which is absolutely amazing. First of all, if you want to chase down a target after a fight that is trying to escape, especially if you're of course skilled on level 1, the extended range on multi-shot. But it's also extremely good against compositions of opponents that focus on melee heroes. If you have a Thrall, a Zeratul, maybe like a Pudge, an Arthas or something like that charging at you and suddenly they are hit by a long distance multi-shot that slows them down for two seconds, not only does that give you a lot of opportunities to just get away from them, but it also helps your allies to get into position and create that wall between you and the opponent so that you can do even more damage. For most heroes out there, level 16 is probably one of the talents that is the most important one and Vala is no exception here. We have several talents that we could go for and we're going to talk about a lot of them, but first of all we're going to focus on the build that we are looking at here and the standard build would be to go for Blood for Blood. Blood for Blood takes 15% of the max health of a hero away and slows them down for 3 seconds by 30%, which is amazing, especially of course when you are trying to take down a really huge hit point pool tank like let's say um, Arthur's, let's talk for example about Muradin. These tanks are very very vulnerable to Blood for Blood, especially since it also gives you hit points. So if you are suddenly in a very precarious situation where Muradin jumped you, starts attacking you, he stuns you, you drop in hit points and you try to get away, you can always just Blood for Blood him real quick, get a few hit points back, drop his hit point pool, vault away and start firing with multi-shot, with hungering arrow and drop him immediately. So a really good talent to have, it gives you a lot more mobility, helps you to chase down targets and it also helps you to get away from an opponent. Level 20 is always a very tempting talent because on this talent level you will always find something that increases the damage of your ultimate, at least for most of the heroes. Vala is no exception here and it's of course very very tempting to do that but in our guide we are going to pick up Bolt of the Storm which allows you a short distance blink away from an opponent and that added mobility is extremely powerful especially in the late game when the cooldown timers are so huge that you will be down for more than a minute if you die. So Bolt gives us the ability to not only chase down a target in case there's a single hero escaping from the team fight, but you can also always get away if opponents are trying to gang up on you. So very, very awesome uh, talent to get and you should not miss out on that because Blink is saving lives quite literally and it makes Vala just so much more dangerous. So to sum it up, the multi-shot build that we are currently talking about allows you just to have a very long distance or long range on multi-shot slows down opponents and you can also do additional damage with it. You are very mobile with Bolt of the Storm, with Vault, 
you have something that keeps you alive with blood for blood and your role is just to stay behind your front line and always make sure that you get those shots in make sure that you auto attack after you are like in cooldown with all of your spells your battle momentum will help you to reduce those cooldowns as much as possible and once they're up again you just keep firing keep firing that hungering arrow and also that multi-shot in a team battle make sure that you just do as much damage as possible and always try to get that additional strafe in especially when you know that your opponent's stuns are already down when they are in cooldown that's really the time when you want to be activating strafe and you'll find out pretty soon that with this build you can do a major amount of damage and will probably be one of the top damage dealer in each and every game. But as promised, Vala has a few options. It's not the only build out there. We have several other builds that we will probably discuss in the future. But for now, what I really want to show you is just a few variations of this build. The first talent level where we could go for a variation is level 4. And this is a bit of an unorthodox method to play the hero, but it's something that you might want to keep in mind if you're playing a lot of solo queue and dual queue and you cannot really rely on your healer. Usually in a big team fight, when you have a normal team that is also on team speak, it's quite easy to just like tell your healer, hey, listen up, buddy, I'm dropping here. I need a heal and I need it right now. And usually that medic's just like swoops over you and helps you out with that. But sometimes that's not the case, especially not when you do a queue. Sometimes you end up in a composition that doesn't even have a healer. And what you could go for then is you swap out Arsenal, the multi-shot talent, on level 4 with Vampiric Assault. Vampiric Assault gives you life leech with each and every auto attack that you shoot out. And it might not be the talent of choice for a lot of players out there. It might not be the ideal talent, especially when we're talking about competitive play. But if you're playing a lot of solo queue and you feel you cannot rely on your healer a lot, this might be the talent for you. You just keep you in lane a bit longer, allows you to soak up that extra bit of experience and keeps you alive also in those team fights. Another big decision is, of course, on level 10. When we were talking about Strafe and Reign of Vengeance, and I told you earlier that Strafe is probably the option for you. And that's for a very specific reason. When we're doing these tutorials, I always assume that you're either queuing up alone or that you're going to play together with one or two friends. And if you don't have an entire team with you, then Strafe seems to be the much better option. Reign of Vengeance is one of those drop and forget ultimates, where you just like launch two assaults that go down straight in a line, and with that, it will stun out the opponent and do damage. It's an ultimate that you don't do, like launch so much to do damage, it's more something where you really want to stun somebody out. And usually you see that picked in a team composition where people are trying to sync up their stuns. You will, for example, see Tyrael just judgment towards the target, lock it down with a stun. Uther can, of course, do the same. And then Bala is right behind, drops a Reign of Vengeance and tries to stun that target twice more. And then, of course, because all of those stuns and crowd control spells, you can easily take a target down. To pull that off though, you need a lot of synergy. You also need to make sure that you harmonize with your teammates and that you have those just like every single cooldown, every single ability locked down cold. And that can be very difficult if you queue with strangers. So that's why I advise you to go for strafe. But if you queue up with a couple of friends and you really want to try that out and go for that combo potential, have a Zera tool, for example, that can set up a Void Prison and shortly before it's done, you can launch that Reign of Vengeance. Then by all means, try it out and try to go for those combos. You can have amazing results with that. One of the talents that can absolutely be amazing and mind-blowing when it comes to damage dealing is Executioner on level 16. It's a great talent to have. But mostly when you're up with somebody who can really stun out opponents. Arthas, for example, is a great example for that. With a Frozen Tempest, with the Frost Aura that he has, he always just slows down opponents. And if you have Executioner, you do 40% more damage to slowed, rooted or stunned targets with your right-click attacks. And if you have an Arthas in your team and you run with him, you can do so much damage once you hit level 16. It's absolutely unbelievable. It's not really something that combis exceptionally well with your Frost Shot, which you might think at first glance, because Frost Shot only slows down targets for two seconds, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you suddenly have an Arthas in your team or just a lot of heroes that have stun, then Executioner is definitely a talent you want to think about. You can get amazing results with that. So give it a shot the next time that you queue up with the Lich King. I hope today's episode of Level 10 helped you to understand Vala the Demon Hunter a bit better and gives you also great results with the Pro Multishot build when you're playing online. Thank you very much for watching the video. Give it a thumbs up if you haven't done that just yet and also subscribe to Color TV. Share the video with your friends and I hope to see you soon online.